Hello, welcome back. Today we've got another £200 worth of 10 Ps which we are hunting through. Looking for those alphabet 10 Ps, territory coins, world coins, anything else that's interesting as well. Ideally though we want some 2019 dated um, of the alphabet 10 Ps because we have still not completed a 2019 book after all of these episodes. We have though got A, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, R, T, U, V and X. So six to go. And then we've completed the 2019 alphabet. Now, because the 2019s are so low minted, so hard to find and get your hands on, we started another 2018 book. This is our third 2018 book. It's the same designs, just with a different date on the obverse, our head side of the coin. Um, so far, we have got A, E, G, I, K, M, P, Q, T, V, X, and Y. So lots of 2018 still to get, but let's get into, let's get into these bags and see what we find. Okay then, whilst the coin hunt is ongoing, I'm going to be going through some comments recently left on my video. So if you get a random love and like from me but no reply, that means that I've taken a screenshot of it and it will be in a future 10p Q&A video. Uh, again, before we get into the comments, um, a quick reminder, I am going to the Royal Mint on Saturday the 25th of May this month because it's May now which is crazy but anyway <laughs> I'm on the two o'clock tour if you want to come along and say hi to myself and others that are going on that trip uh, feel free to it's uh, always great fun and it'd be the next strike your own the Diplodocus which is cool right Lord Leon USA says you say non-circulating like it's a dirty word I like many of the NIFC coins more than some of those circulating coins. I am a completionist and would not regard my collection complete without them. There are 264 British 50p's now including the NIFC and coloured Cupra Nickel excluding territories. Um, so I see what you mean and I, I would agree I like the non-circulating designs as well. My favourite coin ever is the Frankenstein £2 coin which was an NIFC, a coin that was minted but not intended for circulation. They're just created for collectors um, the, the, for collectors to buy, they're not put into general circulation. Um, so, And I've always said I think it's important because what we do with our coins is we, we are marking parts of our history, tradition, great individuals, innovations, um, things like that. Um, so I think it's important if for a year there is no demand for £2 coins to go into circulation, for example, I think it's important we still mint these uh, coins to celebrate great individuals, organisations, achievements, things like that. Um, I would much rather they make a non-circulating version than no version at all. What sticks in my craw a bit, and I think annoys a bunch of other people as well, is in a year when we have uh, millions of definitive designs being released into circulation, um, but then very little of the gr grand range of commemoratives that have been released that year. Um, so like so like the, the dinosaurs, we've had all those dinosaur designs, we're going to have a whole bunch of Star Wars designs, we're going to have all these amazing 50p designs that we've had over the years, starting with the I think 2018 Snowman, or maybe even the, was it the Gruffalo was the first one that didn't go into circulation. Um, but there have been many years where they've made millions upon millions of shield designs, the what was then the definitive design, but then none of the other commemorative, so, well, some of the commemoratives weren't then put into circulation. And that's a bit frustrating because there's obviously a demand for these for 50p's and someone is deciding to make a ton of the new, of, of the um, then definitive shield designs, but no uh, Stephen Hawking 50p, uh, no Alan Turing 50p, um, and countless other versions that are uh, well designs that weren't put in circulation that's what gets my goat because i fear that the the trajectory of coins in the uk obviously we are using less and less coins each year on year but if they if if the more the more non-circulating commemorative coins that are put out to collectors to buy it makes it feel less and less like they're coins what's the difference between I don't know, the Stephen Hawking uh, BU non-circulating 50p and some rubbishy bit of merchandising tat that's put out um, from the Solomon Islands for, with a 50 cent denomination. Um, it's still te technically a coin even though it's been made by a marketing company to sell these um, marketing gimmicks to coin collectors. Um, <laughs> 
it, it sort of it loses part of the essence of the hobby, which is collecting coins. Coins were these things that we would spend. Um, it's slightly different with like five pound coins and I don't know higher denominations, weird denominations that have never been used in circulation. They're just sort of interesting things. But especially for fifty p's, two pounds, other circulating denominations, when we're just getting overwhelmed with versions uh, or designs that are then not put into circulation um, and more specifically when there is obviously demand because they are making definitives um, I find that a little bit frustrating so like with the two pound coins there is 2021 2022 allegedly although we've not found any in circulation the mintage figures were released that uh, there were two pound coins minted in those in those years they were all Britannia's and I think there was some really nice commemorative two pound coins in that year that I would like to have seen a slice of that pie have been allocated to these other commemoratives that's the thing that makes me puts a bad taste in my mouth when we talk about the NIFCs um, I, I, I do still think again it's important that we keep celebrating people and things on our coins but if there is demand for more coins to be minted for use in circulation at some point let's not just do the orders definitives or let's maybe not do 56 million definitive shields uh, let's split that out amongst uh, commemoratives as well uh, and I don't think that's a um, I think that probably is a, is a, is a fairly well-rounded argument. But uh, no, I, st I still buy them more because I'm a mug. But there we go. Anyway, Gary Butler says, Do you look for the Tooth Fairy 50Ps? Uh, that's in my uh, 50p coin hunt, obviously. Um, so yes, I do. Um, it's the, it's, it's, the thing is, when I start a video and I'm trying to lay out some of the bits we're looking for, coin collecting is getting a little bit more complex than say previously it was previously it was uh q gardens olympic 50ps um and some of the other low minted ones that's what you want to find and now it's oh the coronation but you need to check for the uh non-circulating portrait of the king uh, it's the same with the platinum jubilee there's a version that went into circulation in large numbers and one that didn't there are lots of these little error things so the lord kitchener error the edge inscription error on the shakespeare tragedies rotation errors on certain coins that have been found there is so much to look for that i know that many of you have been watching my videos for some time and uh, already know these things so equally i don't want to keep bombarding you with the same information every video all over, over and over again but there's lots of people that are just picking up uh, on my videos and so i want those people to understand what we're looking for as well but there is so much to say that we're look I'm looking for um, that it's a bit of an overwhelming if you were if this is your first video you're watching or saying right there is all this and that and this and that and this and that and this and you think whoa I, I can't learn all this all uh, so yeah I, 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 I don't go through, I don't say every single thing that we're potentially looking for but I do look for the tooth fairy 50 P's for those that don't know the tooth fairy 50 P is just a shield 50 P with a little star privy mark on the reverse that sets itself apart but uh, be a very nice one to find Okay, Smithy says, if we don't get an alphabet, then we hope to get something interesting and nice design coins. That was the case today. Great stuff, Christopher. Uh, thank you very much, Smithy, because the 10 piece can be a little bit soul destroying because it, it, it is the longest hunt, I think, that I do. I think it takes about 40 minutes to get through the 10 piece. Obviously, it's sped up for you now because you don't have to watch me slowly uh, hunting through them all. Um, and it's not out of the ordinary to find very little. Um, it's not out of the ordinary not to find an alphabet 10p the one that we're the one thing we're looking for um it's more common to find i think territory 10ps than it is to find the alphabet ones but uh you just got to keep on going because because they're they're hard to find that makes them more exciting to find uh user you are 2 oq 3 kv 1 o i think says so question i watch both you uh oh, not us I, I watch both US and UK coin search videos. Here in the US, I have noticed coins being pulled back as far as the early 1900s, but from what I see in the UK searches, the earliest dates are from the 1990s. Is this down to just what you are searching, or does the UK Mint pull the earliest coins out of circulation? Uh, so, yes, we don't have any coins older than 1971 actively. In circulation that should be in circulation you'll still find the odd case an example um, so in 1971 we moved from the pre-decimal system of pounds shillings and pence onto the new pounds and pence which we use to this day so although we previously used pennies we still use pennies they were different pennies at a different value they used to be 240 pennies 
uh, in a pound and now there are 100 pennies in a pound so they were all the denominations were remapped all the coins were replaced with the coins in, the, in 1971 what has since then happened the 5p the 10p the 50p have been shrunk down they were bigger coins uh, previously and in the 90s I think it was uh, it's been 97 for the 50p and I can't recall the dates for the um, 50 uh, for the 10p and the 5p but again I think it was in the 90s they were shrunk down and reduced in size I guess to reduce the cost of it the two pound coin as we know it today the bimetallic one didn't start use until 1997 um, and the pound coin got redesigned in 2017 although they started minting them in 2016 so you won't find pound coins actively in circulation before 2016 um, and that is a shame because obviously before we decimalized you had countless um, years of coinage that you could you could spend a a victorian penny uh, in the 1960s if you came across them which i think is quite cool and if you're doing a coin hunt you could find the historic coins like you can over in the united states um however obviously we, we went through decimalization we changed all our coins all the coins were scrapped and replaced with ones and we had only had queen elizabeth ii uh, uh, as our monarch up to that point um and so that's all the reason that we were all very used to just seeing one monarch on our coins but obviously now king charles is king his coins are being added into circulation so there's two different monarchs we can find and eventually sometime in the future there will be more different monarchs and it's only if the coins get totally recalled and replaced like that happened with the pound coin that we will see queen queen elizabeth ii's coins disappear uh, so that is why um our coins in circulation aren't so historic that's not to say you won't find anything that shouldn't be in circulation because i found farthings in my penny bags i have found um other larger 50 p's 10 p's 5 p's those kind of things in my coin hunts as well but they shouldn't be in circulation is the main thing right bus boy says i have a question your opinion on the new dinosaur 50p um i like the, the new dinosaurs the three dinosaurs we've had uh, this year that we have the diplodocus stegosaurus and t-rex i think they're very very nice designs my one criticism i love the designs i think they look amazing i love that sort of textured um pattern in the background field it's the one criticism i would have and it's a, it's a, it's again the slippery slope with the royal mint we always used to mint on, on the royal mint always used to make mint british things on british coins that was the rule if it's not british it's not going on british coins so the previous six dinosaurs the plesiosaurus temnodontosaurus iguanodon hylosaurus megalosaurus the one i'm missing did i, did I say diamorphodon maybe that one um they were all fossils of dinosaurs which were found in the uk so that's the uk attachment to it whereas t-rexes aren't found have never been found in the uk to my knowledge um and i don't i, I, I don't know off the top of my head if diplodocus and uh, stegosaurus have but uh, I, I know for example that the t-rex wasn't uh, hasn't been found in the u in, in in the uk so it's a departure from that golden rule of british things on british coins um and it makes me nervous uh, i again i like these coins it's like with the star wars coins i know there was a great great input by british people actors crews sets locations in the creation of star wars but it's an american franchise at the end of the day um and i worry that it's the start of the slippery slope into an avalanche of tat that uh, could be minted onto our coins uh, like you can see with some of the marketing companies or foreign mints that just mint coins a, coins is a bit of a stretch of a term with some of these uh, items that get produced um, that are just just minted to sell for crazy prices that end up with no value um, so yes uh, that is my only criticism other than that I love them the only the other, or the other one I'd like them in circulation that would be very cool okay Dominic uh, Dominic W dot G says so many sensitive souls in the comments section it's the title of a video get over yourselves and give your head a wobble okay so this was a 50p coin hunt recently it was titled the fabled 63,000 pound 50p coin and in the uh, thumbnail is a picture picture of two uh, battle of hastings 50ps now <laughs> i didn't i didn't put much thought into the title of the video it came to me as i was editing it i saw the two uh, battle of hastings thought ah oh, i've got my title now and i think i even made a comment in the video about about it as well um 
so I uploaded the video I went off um, and it didn't look back until the next morning and I saw it got tons of views way more views than the average video would normally get uh, and a lot of very cross people in the comments that felt that I was clickbaiting on that video um, <laughs> I don't think it was a clickbait if I'm being brutally honest um, I thought everyone knows about this this the, the, back a few years ago uh, is it lad baby uh, the youtuber um, found a Battle of Hastings 50p and uh, it got into the national media that it was worth 63,000 pounds because that's what one was listed on eBay for but we all know what gets listed on eBay can't be trusted because you can list whatever you want for whatever price you want on eBay um, so we all knew it's not worth 63,000 pounds and at the time when it was doing the doing the rounds we all uh, all of us that were hunting through coins were laughing and joking about it because the Battle of Hastings 50p is worth 63,000 pounds I've got a gold mine in my collection uh, we all know it's not worth that, it's worth a pound at a stretch. Um, so what I called it, and I called it the fabled £63,000 50p, and I did explain when we found the, when I came across the Battle of 50p, this, that backstory to it, uh, and why at one point everyone was ranting about it being worth, worth that much money, and it really wasn't. Um, so <laughs> I thought that people that would see that title would go, oh, okay, I just, oh, it's the, the, the stupid Battle of Hastings story again. Um, and the fact that I did, explain that in the video I felt it wasn't a clickbait was it was it really anyway um, I, I apologize if your feelings have been uh, upset by that for those that are in the comments upset about that but uh, I felt also in hindsight looking back at it if any if there was a clickbait article like there was in lots of the red top newspapers about the Battle of Hastings 50p getting uh, being worth six three thousand pounds better those curious clicks landed on my video recently that then explained that it's not worth that um, better they clicked on my videos and found out that it wasn't at that valuable than clicking on the newspaper uh, websites or the I don't know videos that are that are lying about its value so I think it's all win-win and I got more views than I would usually so I, I, I think it, is, it's, it stands aside that um, I very rarely get accused of being clickbait. I think my, sometimes I'm, it's a bit click friendly. I try and highlight good things, but again, I don't want spoilers in my titles or my thumbnails. I want a bit of excitement for the regular viewers, but there's also that need to entice new viewers in as well. So it's a careful balance, but it's very, very infrequent that I get told off for my titles and my thumbnails. I think it's, it's a fair approach. And that's why this, this stood, stood out to me with all the people that were moaning and groaning in the comments. But anyway, um, woe is me, right? <laughs> With enough said about that, let's get back to the coins and see what I found. Well then, that was not the kind of hunt that we want to have. Unfortunately, just the one find. A Jersey 10 pence from 2014. It does just go to show how scarce and hard to find those little alphabet 10 P's are that uh, I've been through 200 pounds and have found just a Jersey one. So tricky little coins to find but it makes it so much more exciting when you do find one as to how low the mintage uh, figure is but uh, there we go we'll try again next week and fingers crossed we'll make up for some of the bad luck we've had this week um there are links down in the description as usual across to my coin collecting discord server if you want to come and join me on that there are also links to my other social media channels the peer box address if you want to write into me and a link across the britannia coin company's youtube channel the company i work for as my day job now do let me know in the comments have you found an alphabet 10p in the last week normally there's three or four people that have found one i want to know what letter you found and where you found it it just reminds me and others that they are still out there they're still worth looking for and um, people are finding them over time well i hope you've had more luck than i have had today and all it leads me to do is thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time for more coins bye